Hello and welcome to the African Club of Nations 2019. It's knockout football! It is! It's uh, Rwanda versus Cape Verde. That's the first of these knockout games yet. The top of Group A versus second place in Group B as things progress. Yeah. Is this a surprising quarterfinal for you? Surprising in the sense that Mauritius didn't finish top, I suppose. Yeah, but yeah, surprising in the sense that Cape Verde finished second in their group. Yeah, very true. But it's going to be a good game, this one, because Rwanda have proven to be... A good side. A good team, yeah. And Cape that, Verde but, have a lot to prove, I think. Well, Cape Verde should easily be winning this one, actually. I think. You think they should, but I... Based I, on the players. From what I've seen of the players, I, well, defensively in that last game, they were very poor. I just don't think... They've not lived up to their name yet. Maybe apart from that South Sudan game, but you know they've already they drew one game and then they've lost another. Uh, yeah, well, it's up to Zilawi today. I think. I think it's a huge if he game. Puts his chances away. Yeah, he's had the chances. He's playing as a forward as well as a striker, so he really has to be putting them away. So here we are there at the Jamal Komamon Stadium. A little bit of a breeze in the air as the flag shows. Rwanda vs Cape Verde, one of the smaller stadiums to host. Uh, Knockout game, but this will be the only knockout game at the Jamal Komamon. It will be. This is the last time we'll be at the stadium. Yeah, so we'll say our sweet goodbyes to the Jamal Komamon today as the teams walk out the polytunnel. One of them will be going home. Cape Verde in there, away kit, which is, is quite beautiful actually, with the maroon collar. Very memorable kit. I'm sure you'll all agree. Let's see if they'll make it through to the next round and maybe wear it again. Here's the Rwanda size. To your singing and Medica Gary up front there. Medica Gary had a fantastic game. Got a brace in that 2-2 two -two draw. Won in the group against Mauritius. And that back five is what's caused a lot of problems and probably helped them qualify first in the group simply because of that strange defensive tactic. Here's Zilawi and Lou. Julio Tavares for Cape Verde. Will they score today? They'll be hoping so. Guy Rodriguez has proved to be a weapon on the right wing. Yeah, so he, he looked good in that last game. The defeat to Comoros, the narrow defeat. Sun is shining, although the pitch still has a bit of wetness to it, as it was rainy earlier. James, what was your prediction for this one, score-wise? Well, I will go with a win for Rwanda. I think they've looked like the better side throughout the tournament. Any numbers you want to give us? 3-1 to Rwanda. 3-1 Rwanda. Personally, fan of Cape Verde myself, so I will hope that they get through. But could be looking at only a 1-0 or a 2-0 here, and if that does happen. So here we go. Nope, we go now. The quarterfinals are underway. And there's Rwanda getting us underway. Zilawi chasing the ball down there. Bit of pressing play early on. You don't want to tie yourself out early on, though, do you, Zilawi? So no. Maybe, maybe these managers will be saying, calm down. Don't knock yourself out. The ball's given away there. Tavares. Nuno Rocha down the left wing. Nuno Rocha. Space is opened up for Nuno Rocha. He's hit oh, it. Oh, and it's held well by... Yves Kamenye, yeah. Yves Kamenye. Forcing to playing the crossfield ball there, but Guy Rodriguez picks that one out perfectly. Julio Tavares, Zilawi. Julio Tavares Usinga Mana finds his finds the ball at his feet somehow no one knows how when he's for this finds Montero Zilui to Nuno Rocha tension's a bit higher than normal here in the knockout rounds James yeah I think both think... sides will be a bit nervous to make a mistake to cost them side, themselves the game in this one it around well now Rwanda trying to open it up for themselves and Vizina gets himself behind that yeah, one yeah Tiasengi there a bit far out for the shot didn't have enough power behind it either but he was he was out of options there there was no one to pass to dispossessed but loving that crossfield ball Rwanda yeah and it pays off for them there oh and that was a great sliding Oh, he shouldn't have had to slide for that one. The pass was way would put to him, but he did well to win it, but not well enough because now, oh well, that's a free kick a anyway. Free kick towards Cape Verde. I wonder who will take this one because it's quite far out, so maybe a more of a floater into the box for someone to get ahead onto. Just pushed off it there, Julia. Well, Jones. that's harsh, I feel, but so yeah, it's it's a little bit. It's going to try and play it in. See Louis. 
stumbles and gets tackled and Zilawi saved Forster great save from Kamenyi and uh, well it's been a bit of a cagey start hasn't it to this it's quarter it's very much knockout playing football this isn't it good save that he seems happy with himself well, he, yep he thinks that's a big save we'll see won't we that we will but angle now Louis with the header. It's oh, in! Oh, he scored a goal! That's his first. And eventually he gets his head on the ball. And Kamenyi could not keep that one out. Well, he nearly kept it out, didn't he? He did. Yeah, I think he pushed it under the under the crossbar. Louis. Well, if you don't. If that's the time to turn the, the heat on, isn't it, for Louis? It's yeah. in the knockouts. It's it's a great time to score a goal. Perfect header. Yep, goalie oh, well pushed it under the there. bar. Good cross from the bank hall. And Zilloway. Well, he kind of forces the goalkeeper to put it into his own net, doesn't he? Yep. Well, that's the margins you're playing with here in, in the knockout rounds. Millimetres. So Rwanda find themselves behind in this game. Came round well or a wonder though. Dispossessed then and Rocha has it. Out of the outside of the boot there, Tavares, who gets tackled pretty much instantly there. Medica Gary. Tiasengi can't do anything with it and he gets tackled. Nuno Rocha. Oh, Nuno Rocha there. No, no, watch it. Yeah. Did well there, Nuno. And here's Eloy. His confidence will finally be off the floor. I think his confidence has stayed pretty solid because he keeps going for it, doesn't he? Despite the he fact does, that he's yeah. not scoring the goals. Some words of wisdom from his manager, and that's oh, nearly oh, another one. Have another one there. Good with his head, Eloy. Planned his header on target there. And the temperatures today are really ri rising. In the yeah, races. glorious weather. But is it the weather you want to play football in? Humidity in the air, isn't it? It's the humidity that does you in. My hands are sweating viciously. <laughs> yeah, my neck is like radiating heat. Sweltering. That's a big ball up front there. When he falls to a Cape Verdean. Cabo Verde. Ian, something like this. Here's the other way. Maybe you could be too confident there. A little bit, yeah. Overconfident. Hussein Gimana couldn't find himself no, at the end of that pass. get it away there. And that's a throw-in still. It will be a throw-in. Playing it backwards here from the throw-in. It's the pressure that Cape Verde are applying. Ruguiro. He's found Kagari in a bit of space there. Shot deflected. Well defended. Well shut down there. Zilui cannot get his foot under the ball. But he will get his foot under the ball. But will it prove to be anything? No. He was done well there because that was a very vicious back pass. We saw what happen, can happen when they, there's vicious back passes in this tournament. Yeah. Can result in goals, can result in teams exiting the competition. Oh. Okay, Birdie looks strong here. And that's a uh, when in doubt moment, but I don't think he was in doubt there. You know, plenty of time. Well, it's given away though. It is given away in the dangerous area, but keep a recover as they seem to be doing very well today. No, no, Rocha. Ten minutes till the break. <laughs> there will be a throwing to Cape Bird. Yeah, another throwing down this flank. Yeah. Here's Dan Nielsen. Adam Nielsen. Rodriguez. Tilly. 
turns around Zila Wee has a shot from some way oh, out there his confidence is coursing through his veins like heroin Zila Wee oh well that took an unsavoury turn oh that comment there oh I'd like to think uh, Zila Wee is a clean man and we'll think him a strong save there from the goalkeeper oh no the second effort goes wide a, hits the outside of the post with that one they're not going down without a fight here Rwanda yes great save from Vizina and then Tiasengo manages to beat the defender yeah, good hustle uh, Danielson beaten to the football there but uh, Tiasengo I think has been relatively quiet since the opening group game uh, almost getting a chance to get a goal there Unless he did, he did he score in the second game. I can't remember. Luna Rocha's having an absolute storm here, winning the ball back again there. But giving the ball away. Here's Nuno Rocha. It's Fores. Gary Rodriguez. Julio Tavares with the shot. That is a, a slow is, shot. That was tame if there ever was a word for it. Oh. It's half time. Kate Verde oh. leading this one against Rwanda. Is Eloise going the difference at the half? That it is. I wasn't expecting to say that actually. Is Eloise getting the winner of a goal or the leading goal yet? Very even though on the on the stat sheet there. Yeah, but what have you thought about the performance of uh, Kate Verde? Uh, well, they've looked slightly the better side both defensively and offensively Rwanda have had plenty of chances though and should have buried a couple of them but yeah more towards the end of the half yep. there I felt the big chance came for them uh, but Vavazina held himself up well and uh, yeah narrow lead for Kate Verdi but it can all change in the second half can't it can all change it happen yep. I mean Rwanda would feel a bit harsh if they went out of this early stage I feel. Yeah, I don't think they've given themselves justice in the game so far. And, uh, yeah. So, should we get back? We shall. To the game. We'll get back to the action. Okay, Here birdie. we are, back at the German Colon Stadium. What is the first of the four quarterfinals? Here is Gary Rodriguez. spinning and getting himself out there and well just about almost beat everyone there honestly no idea what was happening there James no idea right. we have repeatedly told the cameramen in Mauritius to stop switching that camera angle well the producers sorry not the cameramen they're just the men controlling the cameras not behind what direction it's used and uh, that's a hammered ball forwards but it's dealt with only half dealt with though Julio Chavares well he's hit that the wow. wrong direction hasn't he what on earth he done there he's hooked think, it away from his goal then. I think he was looking for the cross there and it's a free kick goal there and it will be a free kick it will be a quick free kick oh, just couldn't find the final pass there Birdie in control at the minute. As they have been throughout. I wonder we're going to have to really turn Look on up the their heat, ideas. Heat soon, yeah. This is their poorest performance of the tournament so far. They're not going to get anywhere if they're passing it like that. No, no, Rocha. Medica Gary. Single mana. He had a chance earlier on, and he doesn't do anything there. Kai Rodriguez down this right wing again. I think he's tackled there, but couldn't see him. Cut it by here. Nicks it off his foot there as he powers up for this shot. And here is a counter attack for Medica Gary. 
Patrick Kigari. He is a wonder. Biggest chance of the game. He squares it to Tuyasenge! It's 1-1. One, one. And Rwanda. Well, have a level of this football match here. Medi Kigari could have been greedy there and took the shot himself on. But it was he, a great square ball. He just saw it there for Tuyasenge. Um, we game have on. a football match on our hands here. Fantastic stuff here at the Jamal Commonwealth Stadium. It's 1 1. The fans being treated to a. Well, might they be treated to some extra minutes of football here? Will it go to extra time? We will see. Uh, the scene are just caught out there. Oh dear. So this game. Must be settled. It probably will be settled, actually. Is there not penalties or? Yep, there. Are. Well, no. For this game, I've turned about the next game. Forgot about that. So, looks like there will be a a winner. A winner, yeah. Hopefully, anyway. And that needed to be remembered. That that was an important bit of information. Well, there's Roati Ubia. He's been solid in the second half. Mukundi. Tuyasengi it's a long ball forward for Zilui Zilui's done extremely well there come on the goalkeeper made a great save got himself behind that let's have a look at Zilui again here wins that ball back skips that past that man Zilui very confident man it's just a shot there that let him down that it is which is the story of his tournament Un until this game where he scored he here's the corner coming in post chance that's another corner another corner yeah defender read that well ish well Went out to didn't, didn't know much about it did he yeah he kind of marked the run though Babanko corner again oh, oh! that would have been magnificent is that another, another corner? corner will they be rewarded I eventually hope we get to see that replay because that was athletic we've seen plenty of athleticism from oh what a great save corners and such it's another corner Babanko whipping this one in again for the third time in quick succession and that one's deflected out for a throw in I'm not sure which team it's going to go to it's going to go to it may go to Cape Verde I think it's gone the other way but you will be right but it ends up with a Cape Verdean with the ball anyway that's oh, poor that Gary Rodriguez <laughs> is it Gary Rodriguez and oh, oh it's, hit the, it's hit the post that was Zilui oh my word Zilui well I was going to say Zilui plays better in white but <laughs> that's not actually the case is it he misses sitters in whatever uniform he's wearing and here's Tuyasenge Tuyasenge here's Tuyasenge bypassing his men and then brought away from the goal there uh, pressing high now or a wonder but Cape Verde have worked their way out from the back nicely here thanks to a, a massive run there but wasn't good enough for Guero Mukunzi centre mid plays the game like it's his pace Osinga Mana Kigeri well, there were so many bodies around him. I'm surprised he came away with the ball. Oh, there. Medica Gary cannot fire it in at the near post. Puts it wide. Yep, the goalkeeper there not happy. No, not happy at all. Well, he did have three bodies around him and still managed to come away with the ball there. That's the tenacity and the guile of Medica Gary. Yep, that's a good word there. He's got it. I like Medica Gary. I like him as a footballer, uh, and I think he's performed well in these last two football matches. It will go forward. Zilo, he plays his football in Russia. He does. Actually. Oh! Well, speaking of the man himself there, he gets stopped by a magnificent save there. There's only 10 minutes left now. Mm, only 10 minutes remaining of this football match. Gary Rodriguez. Gary Rodriguez! Oh! Varela! It's corner. Oh, and it will be a corner. <laughs> Hanging on for their lives, Rwanda there. 
That's a great. That goalkeeper's been unbelievable today. Yes, Kameni. Kameni. He's performed well. Comes back. Zilui with a header there. Zilui heads it over the bar. Pushing everyone out. No, it wasn't Zilui. No, it was number 19. Yeah, Zilui's number nine. Just... It is. It is Fortes. Long wall forward. Must be minutes remaining in this game. Here's Ruat Bai. He's got an awful name to pronounce. That's a free kick. Murphy says advantage. The advantage has been taken here. McKunzie. Oh! It required a save. Madness. It's up. It's everywhere. It's every which way but the goal. It is. They can come forward now. And it will be shepherded by the Rwandans. What's in game, Anna? To Yasengi. Just trying to play it on to Medi Kigeri. Unable to. Oh. Oh, Ooh, just wide there. I thought we were going to have a goal there. It was a nice ball through that. Well worked from Kate Verdi. I just couldn't get it on target. And then he brings it back for the yellow card. Here's the foul again. Yep. Clear as day. And only two minutes left now for a goal to be scored. Oh, and that's a free kick, is it? Not sure which way it's be. gone. I believe it was being given the way of Rwanda. Yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, my word. It's a nightmare. Scenario. It's over. Well, that is unbelievable. It's ended 1 1. Yep, that's it there. It's 1 1. And Rwanda Cape Verde here will be going in the extra time. We've got 30 more minutes of free football for these fans here. Under the, the heat of the sun. Let's have a look at these highlights before we get underway with the extra time. It's the. There's a. Well, it's hardly a shot, is it? Oh, there's the shot there. Saved well. It's on the sign for Winger out there. It'd be a couple of staple, a bit of a jolt, though, between the fans, that one. Zilui gets his goal. First of the tournament for Zilui, and it's a great little header from the corner. The secret handshake there, Zilui. He's been waiting a long time to get that secret handshake in because he's been truly awful up until the day, although he was awful. Well, he was awful today as well, apart from the, <laughs> the header. But, uh, so he's Zilui with his shot after his goal. Yeah. Nearly got another there. He did. He came close. And then Medi Kigeri, he managed to get himself into the game. So this game is going to go to extra time. It will do. Maybe penalties. Potentially. But these are the highlights of the full first 90 as the players get ready for the extra 30 minutes of football. It was a good game. It was a good 90 minutes, wasn't it? Entertaining stuff, yeah. That's what you want from knockout football. He's the equaliser. Unselfishly squared it. And beautifully finished there from Tuyasenge. Tuyasenge getting himself on the score sheet as he did in the opening fixtures of the tournament. Zilui, he had a big chance here. Yep, Zilui's finishing. He bullied him, his way through and then Kamenye. It's just that would man's you finishing, Kamenye isn't it? if it goes to penalties? No, I don't think I would actually. Oh, even despite his performances throughout the game. Because I'm not sure the goalkeepers actually know how to dive <laughs> for penalties. Yeah, it's a bit of a different technique. There was the overhead volley that was for beautiful. Julio Chavarez. Could have been the winner, that one. Zilui had another opportunity here. Carrio Rodriguez, he... Well, it came out to Zilui and he hit the post there. Nice. Goal the escaping of, for the man there. The amount of efforts that man's had, and he's only scored one of them. In the whole tournament, hasn't he? Yeah, in the whole tournament. Oh, well, there you go. 
Medigary. Shot on the near post just wide. See Louis, one last opportunity for him, was it? It was. But it was a good save. A good save to get down for that one. It was indeed. Did well. And then Gary Rodriguez. Hey, Shimmy. I think if that was on his right foot there, that was in the back of the net, James. Yeah, and I just want to say this this striker who comes up there, he has to hit it first time, doesn't he? Yeah, can't yeah. take a touch there. But he had a goal. And um, then straight over the bar, that. Yeah. Then McCunsey, he had an effort. And well, almost deflected. Yeah, deflected down and then looped over the goalkeeper. But Would have been an unfortunate way to exit the tournament for... Certainly King would have been, Burnley. yeah. So that's the full time stats after 90 minutes, but we've got another 30 to play. We've got another 30. So that's that. So we've just seen the highlights there of the 1 1 tie at full time. So we've got another 90 minutes of extra time here. Another 30 minutes of additional time. 30 minutes. Bonus football. Free football, yeah. That's what we all Free like football, to see. Yeah. Here we go. Rwanda kicking off here in the extra time. They'll be knackered out there, won't they? They will be. Oh, they look to be full of life. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, isn't it, really? Oh, and the uh, ball came up there, and that's. Uh... Wouldn't be a kick in the teeth if they were to concede early on in this extra time period. A real kick in the teeth at Ruguiro with the cross in. Headed it wide. Oh. Pushing themselves forward with. <sighs> I hate to see what penalties would be like if it gets to that stage. I know. It was a good cross by Ruguero there. But the header was a bit wayward. Goalkeeper probably. Had that covered, you yeah. would imagine. Yeah. Musingi Mana. Hammered forward by Bazina. Here's he, Louis. Nuno Rocha. He's had a good game, Nuno Rocha. Yeah, as he was all about in that first time and he's still he's continuing here in this in the uh, extra time fair play to the man was in Gamana Varela with a strong tackle there dealt with it well there Varela Zilo E with it outside of the boot pass forward there yeah wayward channeled and well read and that one was well read as well he's Gary Rodriguez down the right wing so he likes to play in for he does this. he likes to run with the ball he likes to he make does. That's a fans think about what they're watching but uh, a weak cross there wasn't it it was it was disappointing Medica Gary oh nice pass there through oh, that one they wasn't able to complete it and he is it is now with Gary Rodriguez the big man and he passes it straight out. Out for a throw-in. That's just the nature, and he's shoving into my face there for some reason. Almost like I'm eating the microphone. That's how you have to commentate. Hello. That was literally on the fluff of the microwave. <laughs> the microphone. The microwave. The microwave. I'm thinking about food, obviously, as it's nearly tea time here in Mauritius. It is, and the food has been much more delightful than the United Kingdom. And Medica Gary's effort there was a bit. Cena got himself behind that one, and, and that's half time of extra time. It's been a bit of a disappointing first half of extra time, would you say? It's tense, isn't it? Neither team wants to concede. A, hasn't been a clear chance on goal. Yeah, so to speak, and there's no real straight back in point. The yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go with this Amazing second half goal, of extra yeah. time. As quickly as we 15 can. Fifteen minutes away from penalties. Keep this video as short as possible for your fans. Well, we always knew knockout football could keep us a while. To Yasengi. Mohira. Oh, so close there. Oh, really wide. That was the... What did you say? That's the best chance of extra time we've had so far. It was certainly close, wasn't it? And that was probably the best in the extra time, yep. Pitch is still a bit damp here. Not dried out yet from the rain we had earlier. But it is not. Dicing with it death was, there, yeah. Vecina. Don't think he hit that as he intended, but there's Babanko down the left wing now. Babanko. Babanko. 
Had a little pause, made the difference. Oh, oh the volley was wide there. Julio Chavares, I thought he was just going to put it in there. Yeah. Finish it off. A little bit more on it and it would have gone in probably. He just needed to guide it, really. Yeah, he didn't get enough on it. Not enough purchase on it, as they would say. Yeah. Maybe he even could have left that one for Zilo e running in at the back post, but it's too late now. Yes. Ferreira. Here's Uno Rocha. Losing out there. Medi Kageri to Yasengi, the goal scorer. Equaliser. Yeah. He gets brought what down there. Give? Referee says nothing. Oh, he says it's a good challenge. He's still laid out there, though. Yeah, he's injured. Dead, perhaps, but... Will he be able to pick himself up if there is penalties, then? We've still got several minutes remaining. He's up. He's, he's on his up feet. when he's alive. Oh, but here it is now. Gary Rodriguez. Zilui! Oh. Oh, and... He gets a... Uh, break to Zilui. Yeah, he gets shoved off the ball there, but... Mukunze. Outstrength Zilui. He is Usinga Manor. Kevin Mahira. Fancy footwork from Kevin. And he gives the ball uh, away. Yep, given away. To say to Yusengi. To Yusengi. Going through yes. and forcing a great save from Vizina. Winning a corner, the Wasps. The Wasps. I never understand why you would call your side the Wasps. They're a horrible animal. They are, yeah. One of the worst. But I suppose you want to be is. Dogged as a wasp, wouldn't you, in your character? Because I've seen a wasp survive several times from a Pepsi bottle. <laughs> right, it's okay. One of the most amazing survival stories I've seen. Anyway. Okay, very clear that one, and they're looking to counter attack here with well. Julio Tavares on the ball. Plays it through to Zilui. Oh, Zilui. Zilui! Oh, I thought he'd thrown the football match. He's bottled it once more, Zilui. Oh, Zilui will be really made the villain of the piece. I can't believe he didn't put that one away. I, I honestly can't believe that one. Unbelievable. That was probably Zilui. the most unbelievable miss. And that's going to Would you back us. him to take a penalty? No. He's going to miss his penalty, and I'll say it right now. If it goes that far, we've only got 40 seconds left. We've got mere seconds remaining. Well, of the actual... Football match it. it is penalty. He's going to miss his penalty here. Don't look at them. Do not look at that. So here we are going to penalties. Do you think this game deserves penalties? Yeah, I think it's been an even football match. How do we decide who takes what penalty? The beginning. I don't know. Who do you reckon man of the match was there? Obviously not showing us. Well, say at the end of the football. Oh, All right. Will it? Because it just won't. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the penalties. Individual match record potentially, but. I'm not sure who the uh, the man of the match I would say was probably who uh, Zuno Rocha yes Zuno Rocha's pretty good um, Zilo he's certainly not man of the match <laughs> well he started the game well but uh, reverted to type as the yep. as the term goes and well he has the skill doesn't he he just can't finish he can't uh, so are uh, we taking penalties like this we're just a one team each I yep, suppose okay. So Zilui is down as the... The first penalty tick, kick tanker. Okay. Uh, well, to be fair, he has got a pretty good penalty kick there. Um, yep. That seems to be the right placing. Yep. The senior is taking it last, as you'd expect from a goalkeeper. Let's get so down to the So here we pitch. go, penalties. Penalties first for the penalty, first time. The tournament. There's the Wasp wasn't, fans. Wasn't many penalties in the Crap World Cup, was there? Nope. And uh, Tia Senge will be the man to step up first. Yeah, and I still don't know how to dive. I imagine the nerves that are going to be uh, coursing through the veins of these two teams. Tia Senge. Oh, oh, what a great penalty. Nobody was getting anywhere near that one. It was fantastic, that one. So here's the Louis. See Louis. Goalkeeper claps him and he scores. Oh, what a great penalty from Z Louis. I didn't How expect surprising that. that was. Yeah, it was indeed. Oh, and Medi Kageri, the man who's been so great in the tournament so far. He misses! Oh, Medi Kageri! What on earth was he attempting there? Trying to lob or something. But the keeper was going the right way anyway. Julio Chavarez. Great penalty. Converts it. Sent the keeper the Ball wrong way. from 
Tavares. So that puts Cape Verde well and truly in the lead now. Rwanda. Who's he making? With Usain Gimana. Who's he Gimana? Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Fools uh, Vazina there. And who is this? Who is this? Varenga? Something like that? Varenga. Varela, is it? What an awful penalty! Was that off the crossbar? Did the goalkeeper save that one? I don't think the goalkeeper he... saved it. It was an amazing save. You don't get a replay on a level. One. We are level. Here's McCunsey. Good penalty from McCunsey. Yeah, from the captain there. This is a big penalty now for Babanko. Oh, oh, I thought he'd missed. Fantastic penalty there off the upright and in. Here it is now. So, Mahire. Mahire. Run up, run up. Goal penalty from Mahire. Yeah. Sent the keeper the wrong way, and this is a big one now for Forres. He needs to score this. He does. Oh. He can't even look that at the, at the penalty being taken there. Forres needs to convert this. Oh, oh he's hit, hit the corner. Him. And Rwanda are through. Cape Verde are out of the African crap of nations. And I have to blame Zilawi for that one for sending Cape Verde home. Oh. The chances he's missed is unforgivable. Well, that's to take nothing away from our friends, Rwanda. They've been the better team. <laughs> no, let's just ignore that replay there. They've been the better team. Well, if you reflected on that, what a dramatic end to that fixture there. To Yusengi there. Winning man of the match, actually. <sighs> a missed penalty. 4-3 on penalties to Rwanda. Yep, 4-3 on penalties to Rwanda. Um, well, interesting. Kate Moody, as I said. the man. Who missed the penalty, but... Uh, well, there was two missed penalties, wasn't there, for Kate Birdie? Yeah, but the crucial missed penalty. Yep. I mean, I feel horrible for uh, Kate Birdie there. Um, Kate Birdie out, so uh, one of your favourites out the competition. But Rwanda looked like a good side, didn't they? Rwanda are a good side, yep, very good side. Marching on to the semi-finals. Um, yeah, plenty of good players there, isn't there? There is, Tiasenge, so. Medica Gary, McCunsey. So they could go all the way, Rwanda. There's a big chance they could, and they can the win a penalty shootout. Yeah, they can. Good to see the back of Zee Louis. And the man, he really should have won it at the end there. Well, he's let his, he's let, he's let his country down, Zee Louis. I wouldn't be surprised if there's death threats, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, he has cost his country daily in this football match. I mean he meet, nearly made them not qualify by missing that many chances in the opening game <laughs> yeah and then they wouldn't even have to play Rwanda had he scored all his chances I suspect they'd have been top of the group would have they had a better chance against Mauritius um, the host. it was a difficult game whoever they played I yeah, felt yeah that's true out of group A that's true and they just didn't have the quality up <sighs> they, front they, today or, or, or the tournament you, throughout the tournament they've not been that good really I thought today was one of their better I thought today was their best performance in terms of what they came up with in the that, 90 that front two has been the worst in the tournament probably for, for what you would expect to see because I mean Zilouis Chavares massive, plays for Dijon in Ligue 1 Zilouis is playing football for I think it's Spartak Moscow big team yeah a big team Gary Rodriguez Trotson it plays for Getafe so there's a lot of big names in there and they, they've fallen when it comes to the first hurdle and they were in an easy group they should have easily won that group yep they should have but uh, no they didn't and they have I mean you can't put it past Varela, Babanco, Stapira Montero, Forres Nuno Rocha they've well, all played well all time I mean you say that but uh, you reflect on that defeat to Comoros two balls were given away weren't they and they um, ended up conceding from yeah. them so I I think Vecina's played a pretty decent tournament. Vecina has played a good tournament, yeah. I think Vecina had a, a solid game there. So we say goodbye to all these players yeah. that we, we've grown to love. So I don't know, I, I just feel like um, Cape Verde haven't really lived up to what they, they... They kind of lived up to that South Sudan game. But So who will Rwanda be playing as they go through? It's Mauritius or... Comoros. Which is Mauritius. the next game. It is... So another treat for you, the massive game that for the country. The atmosphere is building up. Let's hope uh, they don't take it to penalties. Well, well, unless you like it was penalties. An it was an enjoyable penalty shootout. It was, I thought yeah. I, you know, there was the misses, there was the chances. It went to sudden death. 
And it ended well, didn't no, it didn't go on a sudden death. Just missed sudden death. It just missed sudden death. It was the last kick, it was the crucial kick. He we just missed. Shall we say goodbye to our viewers? Because I think this is a long video now. It is a very long video. So au revoir. See you later. later.